The person that inspired me to make the biggest change in my career was actually a SEMA member who offered me an opportunity to take a secondment in the, in the finance team. I was, I was working in an admin role, I was a little bit bored. We tried this new management information system, it came in. I knew it was going to change my life. It was going to absolutely revolutionise the way that I did my job. I was so excited and this person picked up on my enthusiasm and said, you should come and train people. You, could, you can teach other people how to use this system. And I joined the finance team and I never looked back. And it was actually that same person who inspired me to qualify for SEMA and ultimately to work for SEMA. I think great leaders know how to bring out the best in others. I think also a great leader doesn't pull up the ladder behind them. You know they should be happy that others want to follow them into leadership. There are some great mentoring and coaching schemes going on for women. Um, I'm, I'm involved in one which looks at women in government because there, there are simply not enough women in finance at the higher levels in the public sector and this scheme looks at firstly um, developing a network so women can can speak to others like them can learn from each other can inspire each other um, they also have a mentoring scheme a coaching scheme and I think as as women this really helps us knowing that others are in the same position and just because it's always been old guys at the top doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. Well, the biggest challenge of my career was definitely my SEMA exams. They were horrible. You know, I didn't pass mine first time. You know, it took me some time to get through my SEMA exams, but it's worth it. The reward is enormous. So I'd say to anyone else struggling with them, just keep on going. You'll get there in the end. I think gender inequality is something that we really, really do need to address, both as a profession and globally. It's a real issue. You know, it's a big, scary world out there, and we all need to have the best chance we can get. I would like to recommend The Culture Map by Erin Meyer. It's a really, really good book. It looks at the different ways that different cultures approach the world of work. and you know, the different barriers we put up, the different types of messaging we send out. And I think in a world where digital has made the world such a small place, we're now working with people from all over the world. And this book really helped me understand why people might act the way they do or behave the way they do. And if we're going to lead, we're going to be leading teams of people who are not necessarily like us or from the same background as us. So I would absolutely recommend reading this book. And it was recommended to me by one of our members and I'm, I'm so glad that they recommended it to me. Great book.